All right, first question, Coach, is from uh, Steve Batterson. Hey, Tom, what have you learned about your team in these first four duels? Uh, we have a lot of work to do. Um, we, it's November, you know, you're going to hear that a lot, but we have a lot of work to do. And, you know, last night was a pretty big test, two matches. And, you know, the thing about it is these guys are accountable. Um, you know, they're being challenged in a lot of different ways and, um, we need to get better and they know we have to get better and that's what we're doing. Coach, next question is from Cody Goodwin. Hey, Coach, what can uh, Warner and Cass learn from high-profile matchups like that, like they had last night? Well, I think we waited, um, stood in front of those guys, both of them. And both of them, they're a little bit different wrestlers, but both of them have a really good attack. And they got to their attacks, and we didn't get to ours, and we got to get to our attacks. and. A um, lot of discussion, a lot of conversation, a lot of accountability there. So we're not like in the panic mode, uh, but we're not taking our time either. We, we have to put points in the board. We have to come out ready to score points and then put points on the board early. Score first, score fast, that type of stuff. And um, we definitely can be better there. All right, Coach, next question is from KJ Pilcher. Hi, Tom. Uh, what has Cullen kind of showed you uh, early on in these first couple weeks? He's getting better every time out, and that's that's the important thing. Um, he's missed some time um, earlier, and, you know, when you miss time, your timing isn't going to be there. Holds might not be as crisp. crisp. Things are harder, um, but he's better every time out, and he's going to have a good test on Saturday. So excited for that test. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for the fans, um, but a good, another good barometer for Cullen. Coach, next question is from Ross Bartacek. Hey coach, um, notice Brody and, and still is missing from the probables this week and, and Nelson and uh, Brendan Swafford are also not listed. Is there any update that's, uh, you know, you can share at this time about how those guys are doing? Uh, they're all coming along good and we're day, day to day and same with Spencer and real. And we make progress every day. All right, coach. Next question is from Cody Goodwin. Um, I know you've said day to day for a handful of these guys, but there is, is there like a target date that you're hoping to see some of them back or target dates? It's day to day, and when they're ready, they'll be on the mat. Um, that it's that simple, really. There's there's no hidden agenda. There's no secrecy. When they're ready, these these guys. I'll ask a question to the guy who asked me the question. Do you think these guys want to go? Heck yes, they want to go. They they are chomping at the bit to get on the mat. I mean, they are chomping, and when they're given the green light, they will be on the mat, and that's day to day. Coach, next question is from Ross Bartacek. Coach, uh, you know, Kobe Seabrick had a couple good wins, you know, on the New York trip, a couple major decisions, um, one at 65. And then, you know, Caleb Rachi got his first varsity win. What are you seeing there at uh, 157 between your guys? Uh, I think Seabrick is, is probably, um, you know, you want a quarterback controversy answer. Seabrick's probably got the nod. Um, but we need both guys there and, um, this, this, um, this match at 57, it's another ranked guy. Um, and we got to be ready. Um, Penn is coming to town to beat us. And that's a match where I know, um, they're probably seeing, you know, where they have an opportunity here. And so it's a good opportunity for us, um, to maybe flex our muscles a little bit at that weight class. I think things are becoming clearer, a couple of different places for us. And we'll just keep making decisions as we go. All right, two more questions, Tom. First one's from KJ. Uh, Tom, you know, the depth of the team, that's something that's always kind of been a hallmark of Iowa wrestling. What does it take to develop that depth? So, you know, the next man in, you guys are still 
able to dominate and kind of interchange people like at 133 or 74, 84, um, you know, over the years? I think that the bottom line is, is that you look at opportunities that you're given. Um, you're not all, you're, you're not guaranteed opportunities in, in the future. And so, you know, like, the freshman rule obviously helps a little bit. So you look at, like, I'm looking at Drake Rhodes situation, you know, he stepped up, he was out, you know, this weekend, but it's one of those things where um, you don't know when your next opportunity is going to be. So go make the most of your opportunity. If you're given the nod. I mean, there's really not a lot to think about. Um, just go, go do your job. And, you know, there's so much um, access to instant communication. Um, and so sometimes these things get complicated where there's decisions being made. And then all of a sudden somebody's on the phone with their parents. And, you know, that, that might baffle some people like, oh, what are you talking about? It's, it's Iowa wrestling. But that's the world that we live in. And so we try to control those situations before they happen. And so what I'm, my long answer is what I'm getting to is that the culture in our room is, is that um, you be ready for anything, anytime, anywhere, um, because if we need you, we're calling on you. Um, it's not like we're just throwing you out there to throw you out there. If we throw you out there, we need you. You're our best option at that time for that situation. And um, you should love that situation you should love it embrace it and then go make the most of it all right last question tom is from cody goodwin um wanted to circle back on colin real quick um i know that you've mentioned i mean both today and, and previously that he's a guy that as he gets more opportunities he, he tends to to improve and do better um how for a guy like him who's been high level for quite a long time reps at you know the d1 level for him specifically how, how do you see that specifically help him as he goes i think that like i said he missed some time earlier he had a little bit of a nick and when you miss time and then you're put and then you're in that competitive situation you know maybe your timing isn't there and so um you know some guys deal with it better than others and uh we have a guy who is getting better every time out you can see it um i know he feels better every time out as well um and like i said earlier this is an opportunity tomorrow this or uh, saturday this this guy is not um a a, a, a low-ranked guy this is a ranked guy that is talented and i know that Penn feels good about this guy so we got to be ready um, so everything I said before, I mean, he's getting ready for a uh, performance on Saturday at two o'clock and, and that's what it's about. So um, it's important that he's getting his reps. It, all those things are important, um, but there's nothing like the whistle blowing in a seven minute match in a regulation dual meet. I mean, that's how you cut your teeth. That's how you get better. So we're excited for him as well. And then Teske, you know, you got to talk about Teske and you know, we're, we're working on getting him back. And then you got to talk about Jesse Ibarra. So we got, we still got three options there that are, that are good options. All right. Thank you, coach. All right. Thanks.